Start the music, start the truck, take the parking brake off, and go. Out of the services, change the GPS, and you may notice if you've been playing the more recent version of the game that reading is a bit different in this version. I'm playing on a much older version, this is version 1.31. And there's two reasons for that. One is that they've moved the services in their California rework around version 1.40, I think it was. So it's now much further to the northwest, which isn't good for the speedrun when we're going services to services. The other is that the truck handling has changed a little bit since about 1.33 or thereabouts. It's easy to down patch, you just go into the betas in Steam and make the selection from the drop down. So this is 131. It didn't seem to be anything between 131 and 135. And this is the one that has the best, um, best handling. There may be some other differences in other versions which would be better for running on. I haven't experimented thoroughly. My default was to start with the latest version and then I'll go back to this older version and we'll just see how we go from there. So this is the real-time attack version of the speedrun which means that we're measuring it as the real-time taken to complete. What that allows us to do is take advantage of the assistance skipping once you cross into the service boundary for the next city, you can call for assistance and it'll warp you to the next city, take you straight to the services. It can cut off very large chunks of distance. It's at the expense of in-game time. Uh, there is a separate category for that, and there's different things you have to optimize in that run. But for this, it's all about the real time. That was a bit of a bad bump changing my cruise control. A bit awkward. Try and take some good lines through these corners here. But you don't want to get too close to the barrier or you can just kind of hit random bits of geometry and smack your truck up. So we're hitting a GPS marker here which lets me know to swap to assist my assistance menu. Then I'm just waiting for the next road segment to load. And there we go, San Rafael. This lets us skip around Sacramento. So engine on, brake off, move, move, move. Get back out onto the road, swap to GPS again, though we're going to ignore it for now. Please be good traffic. You're annoying, Mr. Car, but never mind. Would have liked to take a better angle through here. This will do. So we have to stay on this side of the road for now because of where the barriers are there. And now we have to dodge traffic because of course. But now we really want to get back over to the right hand side of the road. Scrubs off a bunch of speed unfortunately but we just want to avoid going up the hill up here that goes over the double layer bridge. We want to be on the lower layer. It means a little bit of less awkward movement at the other side as well, though the traffic will still try and make our life hell in that regard. Always does. It's constantly just praying that things don't change lanes in front of you generally. And hopefully maintaining a good reliable line through sections like this. Okay, we got pretty lucky there. Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. <laughs> and now we want to be on the inside of this corner up here. And getting ready for our next skip. So if I was to walk now, I would end up in Sacramento and we don't want that. Instead, we wait until we hit our GPS mark load up the intersection we need to wait until we're the other side of it and around here we end up in Stockton 
There we go. Start the engine. Turn off the brake. Hope for good traffic again. Well, there was some traffic there, but thankfully not the worst. Bit of a bounce through there, should have taken a wider line. Going on the left-hand side of the road here, just to get a bit of line on the corner that's just appearing on our GPS up ahead. Basically, wherever possible, just want to do straight lines from corner to corner, as long as it's not going to impact your speed at all. There's a couple of places where you might get slowed down a little bit by doing so, so you've got to be careful of that. A bit along here. The terrain just doesn't even seem to change as we go across that median at all. It's basically just like being on the road. So we just take advantage of that. Not sure whether or not that's different in more recent versions or not. You can still take pretty good advantage of it. Though. So once again, we're just going to cross over here. Well, we're going to avoid the guy changing lanes, but you can see where the gantry is up ahead, where we want it to aim. And there we go. Now we've got to hope for some good traffic up here. That's the downside of playing off this version, is the traffic slider doesn't exist, so you can't turn it down. Please don't change lanes. Whew, he's not exiting. Good. So you have really dense traffic, unfortunately, but that's fine. It's one of the advantages of the in-game time run, is you can actually manipulate the graphic settings while you're in a run. And it doesn't count against your time because the game is paused when you're in the menus. Uh, can't do that. Well, you can do that with the real-time attack. You lose about six seconds or so by doing so, depending on your menuing speed. I mean, it's worth it to save a run, I guess. But there's always that nagging feeling that you could have done it clean. So, even in a practice run, I tend not to. Coming up to the next skip point again past the 99, get to the GPS marker, and then we're looking for a particular bit of terrain to load in, so there'll be a bridge coming up on our right hand side, well, we'll be crossing the bridge, put it that way, we want to wait until we load the cell that that's on, which is just about here, and now we go to Fresno, a little bit late on that one actually, because the, the truck was blocking my view, but that's alright. Start our engine, take our brake off, hope for good traffic, we do not get good traffic, we get terrible traffic, whatever, we lose a little bit of time there, but didn't do too much damage, 6% is okay, I don't think I'll start getting malfunctions yet, that's more something to get around the 10% mark. GPS back. This is a really bad traffic roll for being in the city, unfortunately. I'm going to have to go wide here. I prefer to actually stay on the right hand side because it's less distance, but we're just going to have to go this way and then cross back over up here. It means we just have to mind out for all these little bollards here. So go across here. Hitting those bollards can really damage your truck, disproportionate to what they are. They can add 10% damage easy. It's absurd. Take the corner. Try to get high beams on so we can see a little bit better. Uh, the traffic up here looks abysmal as well. That's nasty. Okay, so we're going to have to just jump through here. And we don't have a very good angle for this corner either. But yeah, it could be worse. And traffic was a bit further ahead at least. Okay, and we'll stay on this side first as we initially get on. Why is our cruise control 98? That should be 120. Hopefully that didn't screw with any of my times earlier. I think we're good. I mean, judging by my splits, I was doing all right, so... So now we cross back over up here. We're gonna... It's a bit bumpy, so I'm just gonna try and take it on an even angle. Still lose quite a lot of speed, unfortunately, but... We don't want to be stuck on the left-hand side. There's a corner here that we want to be on the inside line of. And then we can start crossing over up here if we want. Not quite sure why there's quite this much traffic around at this time of night, but whatever. 
hope we don't get locked across here. No, good. Cross over before this barrier. And then tuck in behind all this traffic. Bit the GPS marker for our next service skip coming up. So we'll swap over to the assistance tab once more. And then we want to wait until the road segment with the 99 loads in. And now we can go to Bakersfield. And now load, uh, start the engine, take the brake off, get around that car, which is really annoying, and then we need to get around the sign, which is really annoying, get past these rocks, past this curb bit, over this bouncy bit of road there, just so many things to have to avoid. And then here, ideally, we would kind of cut across here as well. This is risky because of the amount of traffic that's coming and you can lock yourself on the side of the road if you're not careful. Or just get smacked into by traffic. That worked out about as well as I could hope, realistically. Around we go. Okay. That's some progress. That's <laughs> a good start. Now, once more up here, we can cross over to skip across this corner here the median just is basically like normal road so we go around this corner and then we want to immediately go back across again oh that was not good that was not good at all uh, we'll keep going but yeah that's kind of reset worthy Never mind, we go this downhill stretch here. I should have kept going on the left and not gone across when I did, I think. Made the change a bit too early. It could have gone behind that car that knocked into me. Never mind, you don't get much time to react, just like when the AI changes lanes stupidly like that when there's a truck coming along. <laughs> You've got to react pretty quickly, and sometimes you get a little bit wrong, but that's the name of it. Come on here, please don't go off. No, good. Just squeak past there. So you need to wait until we get to the other side of the bridge. Wait until it loads in part of the double side again. Now. We go to Barstow. Oh, and we're plus. Gross. That really slowed us down. That's disappointing. Good traffic roll here, at least. This is, I think, the longest segment. Yeah, this is a long segment. But there's no more skipping to do until right near the end. couldn't find any other good spots to jump between uh okay we're just going to hit an invisible wall thankfully we didn't take truck damage but that's still very annoying i don't know what we even hit there never mind we'll press on we're still going to pb anyway but that's yeah a couple of really annoying things happening there never ceases to amuse me that the, I swear the traffic at night, even in the early hours of the morning, is heavier than daytime. It's it's quite strange. <laughs> Just going to stay on this side for now. Get a good line around here. Go through this intersection. I think we're able to... Actually, no, we stay on this side of the road for a little while because we want to get a good uh, transition on the larger intersection coming up that's right you're often safe in the fast lane here most of the traffic tends to stay on the outside or middle lanes when it's three lanes like this it's kind of strange but you can use it to your advantage uh, you can also just dip across to the shoulder so we're going to go over to the shoulder now which was a terrible decision Oof, but we got lucky. But it was to get a good line through here. This version of the game is good on these corners because we're able to take really high speeds through here. 
yeah, like I can maintain 105 all the way through there. On the current version, you just can't really do that. And then this bit here as well, we can just keep going. On. You have to slow down to like 80 on the current version to, do, to go through there. Through here, once again, risk it a bit with those. Didn't slow us down though. Didn't slow us down. Took some damage, didn't slow down. So that's fine. So much traffic. <laughs> Absurd. Now here's where we really have to get lucky with traffic. We can't hit anything on this slipway here. If there's anything coming our way up here, we're just boned. Okay, we got lucky. I think it's pretty rare that you do get traffic doing things there, but it's not impossible. <laughs> but we got lucky there, we'll take it. So we could kind of skip across the other side of the road there as well to cut corners a little bit, but I don't think it's worth it for that bit because you can't get back across easily for up here. We're pretty much locked on the side of the road now. Pretty much until we service skip again, I think. There might be a couple of spots. As the roads get further out from the cities, then the barriers sometimes start to disappear. Yeah, here we go. The barrier's gone now. But I don't think we want to jump across too often. Probably could have there, actually. But then we'd be stuck on that side for this whole straightaway, looks like. Which I'm not sure is ideal. It's all just micro optimizations at the end of the day. And the amount of time that you'll lose just with a little bit of bad traffic or just not hitting the accelerator at quite the right time sometimes, then, you know. You can gain time by better execution a lot more than those little things. So we have to go past this. Interestingly enough, at this point if I was to warp I'd end up in Carlsbad. The next little section I'd actually end up all the way in San Diego, which is kind of amusing. Just because of how the boundaries are set, there's nothing between San Diego and Yuma to influence it. It's quite funny. Uh, here we ideally wanted to cut this corner a lot more, but there's traffic, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't try it. Cut it about as much as we could have. Around here, and now we need to get to where the services start. We're still in the San Diego zone, but just up here, just after here, we should be in the Yuma zone now. Yep. And that's time. Not bad. I'd like a sub 18. I don't know if that's possible. It probably is. The plus 7 on the Barstow split is going to bug me. I know. Um, hitting that car, getting slowed down for that much. A bit brutal. We might chase sub 18 another day. There might also be other skips that we can work on. To illustrate what I mean in terms of the area you gain with the service skips, so right back to the start, so we leave reading from here, we skip from this point all the way down to San Rafael, otherwise to get to Sacramento you've got to all, go all the way up here until you cross over. I remember early on I was thinking, oh there's, there's no point skipping this, I'll just drive through, but then had the idea of, hang on, I can go round. I don't think it's ever worth investigating Truckee. I, I don't think that's ever in contention. San Rafael, then we just drive that little section here until we get to that overpass, and that lets us just jump across to Stockton. That's worth it because we don't want to take this road, we want to take this road. And then we get to this point here, and that lets us jump forward to Fresno. So this is a bit where I was a bit kind of not sure about, because you actually go backwards a bit at that point. But that little bit there, I think, is still worth it compared to all of this driving here. Yeah, that's quite a long distance. 
Again, jumping from there to Bakersfield, that's perfect because we want to go this direction out of Bakersfield anyway. And then we just get to this point here. This is another bit where it's like mm, marginal, but I'm fairly positive that the amount you save by not driving this section is gained by going this way here. And especially being able to take a good line through here, otherwise you'd have to go around here instead. And then at this point here is where we skip and just eliminate this entire section here. That last skip is probably the largest. Thankfully there's no services in Ehrenberg or El Centro to screw us up. But this is the bit that's San Diego because that one's there. So that's kind of amusing. Anyway, that was a decent run. Back to looking at our truck. There we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what else you'd like to see. If you have any ideas of other speedrun categories for this game, I'd be interested to know either on the forums or in the Discord or in the comments. That's fine. Um, we don't add too many arbitrary ones, um, but yeah, I've got a few ideas. Uh, check out the leaderboards and uh, hopefully feel like running yourself then give it a go um, be good to have more in the community uh, take care everyone and we'll see you next time